Hello, everyone, and welcome to our session, Deploy and Manage Teams-Enabled Devices to Meet the Diverse Needs of Your First-Line Workforce. I'm Abit Chaudhry, Senior Product Marketing Manager for First-Line Devices, and with me today is James Ellis, our First-Line Technical Architect. Say hello, James. Hello, everyone. We're really excited to kick off today's presentation, and we'll start with a review of Microsoft's point of view on first-line workers, including who this key segment comprises of, and how purpose-built devices play a critical part in their success. We're then going to provide technical walkthroughs of Microsoft Teams on two new device categories. First, with Teams walkie-talkie on the Samsung X-Cover Pro, and then taking a look at how to collaborate when you're hands-free and heads-up with a walkthrough of how to run Teams on the RealWare HMT1 device. Let's kick it off by taking a look at this critical segment of the world economy, first-line workers. First-line workers are defined as those individuals that are in service or task-oriented roles. For example, a sales associate at a retail store or a machinist at a factory. First-line workers are also typically the ones, folks, that work in shifts and often compose the majority of the workforce. They're in the roles that are the first to engage customers, the first to see products and services in action, and the first to represent your brand. It's their ambition, creativity, and action that can unlock new ideas differentiate the customer experience, and bring the strategies of an organization to life. We can't ignore the unique opportunity and potential that these workers represent and the tremendous value that can be unlocked by empowering them to do their best work. According to one survey, 88% of companies were able to achieve cost savings from the cloud. But cost savings shouldn't just be possible. They should be significant. And as you can see, that's exactly what we found when researching the potential organizational cost savings. Think about the kind of impact 19 million could have for your company. What new projects, assets, or improvements could be made? Tapping into the unique product value of Microsoft 365 presents exciting opportunities to improve user productivity and enhance business outcomes. But it also represents an important opportunity to source new cost savings. Now let's take a look at why equipping the first line with the right tools and technology, purpose built for the task at hand, is so important. You enabled the ability for first-line workers to meet the unique business and industry needs your organization faces. With more industry-specific form factors being created every day, there's more options than ever to get the tool that fits your needs. You also create safer work environments for the team. By being able to leverage new ways to input and communicate, including touch, pen, and as we'll see in just a bit, voice. Let's take a look at these two new categories of devices to run Microsoft Teams on. Starting with the X-Cover Pro by Samsung, and a little later, taking a look at collaborating on Teams with the RealWare HMT1. An example of this in action happened recently with Mars Pet Care. Due to restrictions placed on the company due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, Mars Pet Care needed to rethink how they leverage technology to keep operations running and maintain business continuity, bringing workers back to work while ensuring safety and social distancing. They were able to deploy Microsoft Teams on RealWare HMT1 devices to safely allow workers to remotely conduct audits, troubleshoot issues, and advise on the installation of new equipment. And it's not just industrial environments that benefit from new ways to collaborate. At IKEA Philadelphia, as part of the company's efforts to digitally transform, they began deploying walkie-talkie on Teams via the Samsung XCover Pro device. Familiar features like chat and video calls enabled the first-line team to quickly adopt the solution leading to increased productivity and better customer experiences. We're going to start off by taking a look at how to deploy and use Microsoft Teams walkie-talkie on the Samsung X-Cover Pro. The Samsung X-Cover Pro is a rugged, smart device designed for the first-line worker. It supports facial and fingerprint recognition, enhanced for touch in wet environments, and ready for use with gloves. The device is also built to withstand accidental drops, which helps save costs on device replacements. And best of yet, it comes with a programmable push-to-talk hotkey that activates walkie-talkie on Teams, even when the device is locked, which I will show you how to activate later. With the X-Cover Pro, your first-line workers are able to enjoy a seamless push-to-talk experience, being able to talk to each other across other environments and locations all over the world. So let's take a look at how to enable Teams walkie-talkie. Walkie Talkie, a push to talk experience, enables clear, instant, and secure voice communication over the cloud, turning employee or company owned Android smartphones and tablets into a walkie talkie 
with pre-configured channels to have the right conversation with the right people. This native built-in app in Teams reduces the number of devices employees must carry and helps lower costs for IT. First-line workers often need to speak and receive walkie-talkie calls even when their phones are locked. This experience is possible through specialized devices with a dedicated push-to-talk button. Customers who currently use analog radio devices would no longer need to worry about crosstalk or eavesdropping from outsiders, nor the limited range of radio, as walkie-talkie works over Wi-Fi or cellular data. You will need a Microsoft 365 license, an Intune mobile device management license, and a Samsung Knox license. There are two types of Knox licenses, one of which will be required, Knox Platform for Enterprise or Knox Platform for Customization. Keep in mind that the Intune MDM license and Samsung Knox license is only required to map the push to talk button on the XCover Pro device. You can use the walkie talkie feature on any Android beginning with version 5.0. Walkie talkie is an app within Teams and is controllable via app policies. Here's how you enable walkie talkie for your organization. You'll start by going to the Teams Admin Center. Under Teams app, set up policies. Ensure allow user pinning is set to on. Under the pin app section, select add apps. The add pinned apps panel appears on the right. Use the search text box to look for walkie talkie. When you have the app as a search result, select add to include it in your list. Once enabled, walkie talkie will become available on the Android app within 48 hours. Now that we've enabled Walkie Talkie within Teams, we'll want to map the Push to Talk button on the XCover Pro. To do this, the device will need to be enrolled in your mobile device management solution that supports Android Enterprise Corporate Own. For the sake of time, we're going to assume the device is already enrolled with Intune, and in just a few minutes, we'll show you how to map the button in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager console. Next, I'm going to show you how to link your Manage Google account to Intune. This will allow you to deploy apps and policy changes to Android Enterprise devices. To link Intune to your Manage Google account, make sure you have already created a Manage Google account. Now, we'll navigate to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. On the Microsoft Endpoint Manager console, you're going to select Devices on the left-hand side. Then you're going to want to click Android Enrollment. Here, you will need to check the box to agree and give Microsoft permission to send user and device information to Google. Then click the button Launch Google to connect now. After you click Launch, a window will open where you can sign in with your Manage Google account. Once all that is done, you'll be able to search for the required apps in the Manage Google Play Store. The two that will be needed is Microsoft Teams and Knox Service Plugin. You will approve the Teams app, and you will approve the Knox Service Plugin app, then assign them to the respected group of users. Now we need to create the device configuration policy, which is where we map the push to talk button on the XCover Pro. Enter the profile name and your Knox Premium license key, and select Device Wide Policies Device Owner. Enabled device policy controls should be set to true. Then scroll down to device key mapping and select configure. Here you will want to enable key mapping controls, select true and enable push to talk key mapping for Microsoft Teams as true. Then assign the policy to the respected groups. So. How do we use Teams walkie-talkie on the Samsung XCover Pro? It's a three-step process. You're going to select an XCover Pro. You're going to log on to Teams and select walkie-talkie at the bottom of the screen. After you select walkie-talkie, the Teams and channels you have access to will be available to connect. Select channel to choose which channel you want to communicate with. For this instance, we're going to use the Backroom Northwind Traders. After you choose the channel, select Connect to begin communicating. You'll also see all the participants who are currently connected in the channel. 
press and hold the push to talk button to instantly communicate with participants in the channel. If the device is not an XCover Pro, select the microphone button to instantly communicate with participants in the channel. So let's do a live demo and see if Abed is available. Abed, sir, are you there? I am indeed, but I'm about to go on my lunch break. Sorry, Abed, you're going to have to cancel your lunch break. We need you out on the floor ASAP. All right, back to you, Abed. Thanks, James. We just saw how you can enable remote collaboration with Microsoft Teams Walkie Talkie. Now let's switch gears and look at another purpose-built device form factor that enables Teams collaboration with the RealWare HMT1 head-mounted tablet device. Microsoft Teams on the HMT1 turns the device into a voice-activated remote collaboration headset, one that helps to outfit a fully connected workforce. With Teams on RealWare, first-line workers can leverage the power of real-time collaboration while keeping their hands free for the task at hand. Let's take a look at this video from the RealWare team to learn more. Thanks so much for the opportunity to showcase our solution here at Ignite. So right now, a big challenge we're facing with manufacturing, retail, healthcare, and energy workers is, how do you continue to empower your frontline worker to keep the machines running, especially with all the travel restrictions we're facing right now? And at RealWare, we're addressing this challenge head on by deploying Teams with our HMT. Teams on the HMT lets frontline workers maintain situational awareness, even in loud and hazardous environments, by simply glancing down at a head-mounted tablet that looks like a seven-inch Android tablet at arm's length. And instead of tapping the screen, you just use your voice to completely control it. So let's check out what the latest version of Teams looks like on the HMT and see how frontline workers can share what they see with experts out there in the field to get advice, to get instructions, and to help them get those machines running up and save time and money. Let's check it out. All right, what we're looking at here is Teams via the HMT. So when I look into my display pod, I can see my recent call list right when I open the app. I can make a new call, I can send a chat, or I can join from a meeting. The key here is you just say what you see. So if I wanna quickly call someone from my recent call list, I can just say their name and it will make the call. So let's do a test run right now. Call Deborah Berger. Hey, how can I help you? Hey, I'm trying to connect these to get power to the 3D printer. Um, do you know where these connect or can you send me a manual? Hey, uh, yeah, I'll try and look for a manual. Can you just uh, look at that box for me closely? I'll, uh, I'll try and find out the manual for this 3D printer. Yeah, it's IRM 6012. Okay, that's great. I'll send you a manual over and um, we'll get that copied to you. Okay, cool. Thanks. Not a problem. Thank you. So as you can see, Teams on the HMT is pretty amazing. It's got a simple and familiar interface, and that's why 1,600 customers have already deployed with this, and we're just in public preview. One example of this was highlighted by Microsoft CEO at the Inspire speech last month, where he talked about Honeywell using this 100% virtual to do a factory acceptance test, saving the customer time and reducing costs. And for our IT admins out there, you can deploy this solution with no additional licensing cost using Microsoft Intune or third-party enterprise mobile solution. So you can deploy this at scale with confidence. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to reach out to us. And thank you so much again for having us here at Ignite. Thanks for that great video. Well, let's talk about how to deploy Microsoft Teams on the HMT1 devices. Foresight is a powerful suite of cloud services for realware devices. With Foresight, organizations can manage their devices, install and update apps, make the device settings, and manage security, all from a web portal accessible anywhere in the world. Devices may be in any location as well, so that it's easy to manage HMTs, whether they are all working out of the same location or are spread around the world. If you haven't registered for the portal, please click the link in the slide and fill out the form to get your tenant admin account set up.
once you have completed the form and Realware has sent you your login information, you'll be able to log into the Foresight portal. Once in the portal, expand device management so you can manage users and groups. You can also see the app catalog, which has all the third-party apps, including Microsoft Teams, that you deploy across all your Realware devices managed all in one place. Let's verify Microsoft Teams is available in the app catalog. So we will expand device management and select app catalog. You will want to click on the top navigation tab, apps posted by Realware, and find Microsoft Teams. Now that we have validated Microsoft Teams is available, let's get our HMT1 device added into Foresight. You can also add multiple devices at once by downloading a CSV template and entering in multiple devices, then uploading into Foresight Admin Center. Right now, we'll just go over one single device. We will select Device Management, then select Devices, and click Add New Device. From here, you'll enter in the data required into the fields. At this time, you can ignore assigning to a user, device groups, and policy template. Click Save. You have now added the device into the Foresight Admin Center, and you can begin deploying apps to the HMT1, which I will show you next. Since we have already validated Microsoft Teams is in the app catalog, let's go ahead and get it installed on the device. We will start by selecting Device Management, Policies, and adding a new template from inside the Foresight Admin Center. Next, we will want to give our policy a name and set the priority. Now under Select an Application, we will find Microsoft Teams and select this option. Make sure the application is toggled to install under the Application Actions section. Select Add, then Save in the top right corner. Now that we have the application policy created for Microsoft Teams, let's get that policy assigned to our device. To complete this process, we need to create a device group. So click on Device Management, Devices, Device Groups, which is on the top left, and select Add Device Group. Here we will give the group a name and a description. Add which devices are going to be part of this group. Then we will add the policy that we just created to install Teams and click Save in the top right. So now we have added a device, created an app policy, created a device group, and assigned the app policy to the group. When you turn the headset on, you want to make sure the device is running on release 10.5 or higher. To do this, once the device is booted, just say, My Programs, About Device, Version. Once validated, say, Navigate Home, My Programs, Microsoft Teams. You are now ready to sign in to Microsoft Teams with your organization credentials. And with that, I'm going to kick this back over to Ovid. Thanks, James. So when it comes to empowering your first-line workforce with purpose-built devices, where do you begin? It all starts by providing simple and intuitive experiences for your first-line workforce. As they continue to have good experiences, they'll feel more ownership over their work, and that drives more business value. This allows organizations to better engage customers, reduce turnover, and deliver more results. And the link between first-line workers and improved business results doesn't go unnoticed, leading to a continued cycle of innovation. To learn more about first-line workers or purpose-built devices that we cover today, be sure to visit the resources listed on screen. And before we go, be sure to visit the all-new virtual hub for more learning opportunities and check out all of the team sessions from our team or go to the related sessions on screen to learn more.